hello lightning last peeps how are you all doing so i promised i would do a monthly update and we're here we're at over eight weeks die free oh my goodness um now last time on lightning last i got to uh, four months die free so this is not new this is not um doing amazing yet i have to wait till i get to the four or five or six months before it's a real achievement. But at the moment, I'm doing well, I'm doing great. There has been no blips in my life at the moment. Um, I'm in my mum's house at the moment, so it's not my usual spot where I sit. Apologies for that. And I'm also not using my ring light. I'm gonna try not to use my ring light. I'm gonna try and use natural light because it's just a better way to see it and it's more natural. The ring light is great and I look so much better in it. But I'm going to try and just do this. So, um, yeah, what has been happening? So the last time I spoke to you, it um, was not like this. It was a little bit shorter. Um, I've had a good amount of growth. I'm happy with the growth. I'm really happy with it. Um, there has been a few stairs and looks and I've been in the shop recently. But fluorescent lights are not your friend. Oh my goodness, they're not your friend. Um, I have discovered that I am having to keep my... Um, hair looking a little bit nicer. Okay, let's rewind. Why am I doing that? Because I find that if you're going grey in the process of grey, especially this early growth part, it can make you feel unkempt or it can make you feel like you're not um, dressed up enough or something like that. It makes you feel this kind of way and I think it's because the greys are coming through. You kind of can't... Well, my husband said to me yesterday, and he doesn't know anything about a great journey. He's what, never watched a video in his life of this. He doesn't know I'm on YouTube doing hair videos. Um, so yeah, he's got no knowledge. And he said, you're kind of in the stage now where it looks like you're a bit lazy on your grace. <laughs> now he's well on board with me. He doesn't care if I grow my hair or I don't. But um, it is that stage. It's where people might look at you and go, oh, dye your hair already kind of thing with no knowledge that I am actually growing it out. So I'm guessing when you get to about here or something, like maybe about there, people are gonna realize, oh, she's doing this on purpose. But at the moment, it's just like, when's she gonna dye her hair kind of thought if they see you. But really, I don't care at all what people think of me if I meet them in the shop. There was, when we were in the shop, one young girl was standing and she went like this and they both looked over at my hair so I'm guessing they were both going, look at the roots on that. <laughs> so I just walked, proud as punch, right past. Because I'm really not fussed. When you've shaved your head or hair, um, you really don't feel as um, worried about people looking. Because when you, um, when I did my Brave the Shave, a lot of people did stare at that. So you kind of get used to the feeling of people looking at your hair. And now I don't really care. I've been every colour, so I can cope with the silver. But it does make me laugh when people are stopping and staring now, so it must be more noticeable. What else has happened? Um, I had a comment from my son saying, Eddie, you all know Eddie, saying, um, if my friends think you look like a granny, you'll have to dye it. He's 10. <laughs> we had a long chat about that one, you can imagine. Um, my mother-in-law loves it. She's my biggest champion. She thinks it's the best since sliced bread. She absolutely adores it. Um, my niece Lisa, she's on board and thinking, wow. And every time I send a picture, she's like, wow, I love it. So it is amazing to surround yourself with um, amazing support. Also, the Silver Sister community. Oh my goodness, they are amazing. If you type in Silver Sisters hashtag, if you type in grey hair don't care in Instagram or on TikTok or in YouTube, you're going to get a lot of people who are doing this journey because so many want to do this journey because, and for lots of different reasons, there was a girl who has cancer and um, she doesn't want to dye her hair um, on one of the posts. There was a girl who just wants to see her natural hair. There was a girl who had alopecia and her hair was falling out. Um, so there's lots of different reasons of why a person might go grey, which is really a big key point that I've noticed, that you can't judge anybody on um, so saying to somebody or thinking it, oh, di blooming, just dye it already. Because you don't know what the reason is behind that this person is growing out their hair. It could be for completely my reasons, which is nothing 
nothing like any of those reasons before. My reason is I just want to see my natural colour and see what it looks like. So it's completely cosmetic. But you don't know what's behind somebody's reason for doing it is what I mean. So lots of discoveries that I'm discovering and um, I'm absolutely loving the process. I'm really, really loving it. I needed something. After Elvis Lass and Lightning Lass, I needed something that just kept me busy and that was frivolous for me. Now, hair to other people is not frivolous and I understand that. But for me, it is and it's fun and I don't worry about it. And yeah, I'm loving, loving it. And uh, I love looking in the different lights. I love making the videos about it. I love filming my hair. I think it'd be like Christmas, you know, when you look forward to Christmas for ages and ages and ages and ages. And then it's over and you're like, oh no. So I don't think I'll hate, I'll, I'll dislike, I mean, when I actually get my all my grey hair down and I don't have the process of doing it. I think I'll dislike that. Although I might love my grey hair. It might be the best ever. Oh, wouldn't it be exciting? This time I really, really, really want to do it. And I'm really committed to it. This time I, I feel different towards the last time. And I don't know if it's because my hair's longer. But I feel like I've got a real chance to do this. I really feel confident and, and ready to do it. So I'm keeping my, my fingers and toes crossed that nothing's going to get me off. Do you know the only thing that would do it is I have an event in March and it's a really posh do. It's going to be brilliant. It's an Elvis Oscar night. It's really exciting. Um, we've been planning it for like forever and it's just really exciting. And I'm getting a really beautiful glamorous dress. I'm losing lots of weight for it. And so then I want my hair to be perfect, don't you? So that's the only time I think I will be tempted and I have to fight it. Hopefully by that point, by March, I'll have a lot more grow out and I can make it look nice or I can get a clip in something to, or some kind of spray. Um, and I know that's kind of cheating, but for one event, I think it should be okay. And then I'm going to see Priscilla Presley um, chatting in England. And for that, I would like my hair to be nice. So it's these kind of events that, that stop you. Whereas Christmas is not going to stop me. Um, all other things are not going to stop me. So, yeah, I think it might be those kind of things that might bother me. And that might be when the test comes. So, yeah, join me for March and I'll tell you all about it. <laughs> I'll take you there. I'll vlog some of it as well. Um, um, most of it will be over on Elvis Last because it's Elvis Last. It's Elvis related content but I will put some vlogs up on my channel. I'll try really hard. But anyway, yeah, this is a brief chatty thing. It's not really brief for nearly eight minutes, <laughs> but I'm happy to have you here. It's lovely to see you. I love you popping on on Light and Last. You guys are amazing. There's some amazing people on here. Um, I just love you all, Kimberly, Catherine. You're just great gainer. There's so many people on, on Light and Last that come back f even years on and still comment and you guys are just the best and I love you all to bits and I do miss you when I'm gone. Um, Elvis just takes up so much time, doesn't he? And now my grey hair. But um, yeah, it's, it's good to keep busy and you will know, lightning last people will know that I deal a lot with anxiety. I deal a lot with my mental health. And so I need, and I don't know if you've um, found this with me, I need a project. I need something to focus on. And if I don't have it, that's when things can start getting oh, troublesome so when I have a project or something to look forward to or to keep myself busy that's when I'm happy so this is a new focus this is a new project because I need it my mental health needs it after this is grown out I'll need to find something else and that's why I always do I just go on and find something else and something else that can that can keep me busy because an uh, idle mind for me is never a good thing and looking after my mum I am kept busy but um, now we have the carers, it's less busy than it used to be. So I need to find an outlet um, because I can't leave mum, but I'm not as busy as I was. And that's a good thing. But yeah, I just need the projects, don't I? Anyway, right, I'll let you have a wee look at my hair and then I'm going to get going. Keep this to 10 minutes if we can. Don't want you all to get bored. So this is what it's like on natural light compared to my last update. What do you all think? I think it was Catherine. Was it Catherine? You said that you thought it was a lot whiter than my last time that I did it. And I think it is too. Is it lighter? I keep comparing to when I did my last um, videos, which was like when I was 37, so four years ago. 
and it does look a lot lighter and a lot whiter than then. So that's that. So if you can see, I think I'm, I'm going to be salt and pepper, but there will be a lot of white in there, I think. Especially, um, you can see there, especially this part here, this is going to be like a big tuft of white that goes up. I'm less over here, if you can see, so that's more white and that's more salt and pepper. But um, if you oh, pull it up out of my face, sorry guys. In mums, there's not a seat, so it's a bit harder. So yeah, as you can see, take off my glasses. So there, it's gonna be um, quite salt and peppery with little bits of um, white. That's what I think, <laughs> couldn't get it out. Um, my hair is getting so greasy lately though because I'm constantly doing this. And if you're constantly touching your hair, it's just getting really greasy and stuff. So you have to be careful of that, don't you? But anyway, I'm going to get going now. I promised I wouldn't be longer than 10 minutes and it's 11 minutes. I'm sorry. But anyway, thanks very much for joining me, Lightning Last Peeps. Um, it's amazing to see you. I love checking in with you guys. This is eight weeks and I shall be back again for my 12 weeks. So join me then for 12 weeks grow out. I shall see you then. All right. Bye, everyone. Bye.